मिसिस कोको लास्ट नाइट आई सॉ अ लाइट ट्रेवलिंग अक्रॉस द स्काई दैट लाइट वॉज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एनी थिंग दैट आई यूजली सी आई वंडर वट इट वॉज स्पाइकी इट मस्ट बीन एरोप्लेन नो मिसिस कोको इट वॉजेंट लाइक एन एरोप्लेन द लाइट वॉजेंट ब्लिंकिंग एट ऑल इट वॉजेंट एज ब्राइट एज द लाइट ऑफ एन एरोप्लेन इट डिडेंट मेक एनी साउंड एट ऑल सो इट कूडेंट बी एन एरोप्लेन इट वॉज मूविंग स्लोली इन द स्काय इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन Oh, I know what you're talking about. It must have been a satellite. You mean an object that revolves around another bigger object like a moon or a planet? You are right about satellites. Satellites are objects that revolve around another bigger object like our Earth and other planets. But these are natural satellites. There are also some man-made bodies that orbit around our Earth called artificial satellites man has sent these artificial satellites into space to study our earth the solar system and the universe these satellites have computers for processing information cameras for taking pictures and solar panels to get energy from the sun the first satellite sent to space was called sputnik 1 Launched by Russia in 1957, it orbited the Earth for 3 weeks before its battery died. Afterwards, it orbited the Earth for 2 more months and then fell back into the Earth's atmosphere. Has man sent any more satellites into space after that? Yes. Now there are more than 2000 satellites that orbit around the Earth. Amongst them, some still work. and others do not are all of the satellites in space similar do they all go around the earth in same orbit that's a very good question satellites are of different kinds they are categorized according to their function and their revolution around the earth let's take a closer look at the different types of satellites around our earth we often watch live cricket matches that take place in other countries while sitting at home Have you ever wondered how this happens? Probably because of the wire that connects to our TV. The wire might be connected to all of the cameras in the stadium. Now, here's where communication satellites come into action. The video of the match is converted into signals, and these signals are transmitted to communication satellite from the ground station. The satellite then sends the signals to the receiving stations. in locations across the world that's how we are able to watch the live streaming of a match or any other program but a satellite is always moving right so if it moves away from the transmitting ground station wouldn't the signal be lost that's a good point usually communication satellites revolve around the earth once in 24 hours So they are above a fixed position on the earth's surface at all times. Such satellites are known as geostationary satellites. Ah, the word geostationary explains it. Geo means earth and stationary means still or not moving. Well done, Spikey. We can also make a call using a satellite phone in the same way. Moving on, satellites are also sent to space to study the Earth and the universe. Such satellites are known as research satellites. Many research satellites have telescopes on them. They are also used to study the Earth's atmosphere and climate and to survey the Earth. Some of these satellites are geostationary, others complete their revolution in over a day. Hmm. So, satellites are for scientists. Apart from letting us watch live programs, how do satellites improve our lives? Oh yes, Spikey. We benefit from satellites more than we recall. We use GPS, which is the abbreviation for Global Positioning System, to find locations, routes to destinations, and maps. 
GPS is a network of 24 satellites that move around the Earth in different orbits. Each satellite completes two revolutions around the Earth each day. The location is calculated by connecting to four satellites at the same time. GPS can also be used to track cars and even people. Wow! I will use GPS next time I need to know the shortest route to my destination. Mrs. Coco, next time I see a small light moving in a straight line in the sky and it is not blinking, then it is a satellite. Who knows, some of them may even be a spy satellite. Let's summarize what we have learned today. Artificial satellites are man-made objects that are sent into space to study the Earth, solar system, and the universe. Communication satellites are used for telecommunication and broadcasting. Research satellites are used to study the solar system and the universe, to study the Earth's atmosphere and its climate, and to survey our land. GPS, or the Global Positioning System, is a system of 24 satellites that are used for navigation and tracking. Satellites follow different orbits around the Earth. Those that complete one revolution in 24 hours are called geostationary satellites.